So I see that you need help with this problem and it says 76 Starbucks food items were analyzed for the calorie and carbohydrate content. We use linear regression to explore the relationship between the number of calories and the amount of carbohydrates in grams Starbucks food menu items contain. The estimated regression equation with carbohydrates as a response variable and the calories as the explanatory variable is y equals 8.94 plus 0.11x and summary statistics of the two variables is provided below. Well, in this instance, it's provided above and I will now move this up so it doesn't get in the way. Which of the following is true? is a true statement regarding the slope. Well, first of all, the slope is 0 0.11, and it's positive. So it says, there is a positive association between calorie and carbohydrate content, which is true. However, because the slope is small association between calories and carbohydrates is weak, a food item that has 100 calories above average is expected to have carbohydrates 1.1 grams over average. Well, let's take a look at that. So if I do an equal sign, oops, okay, equal sign, and then in parentheses, I'm going to put 0 0.11, and then I'm going to multiply that by, and if it's 100 calories above the average, so that would be 438.8, and then plus um, 8.94, hit enter, and I'm just going to make this, so I would get 57.208, so it's saying that um, a food item that has 100 calories above average is expected to have 1.1 grams over average, so that is um, not true because if it was 1.1 over average, it would be 4.5. So that's not correct. Because the lowest calorie content food content of food observed is 80 and 0 0.11 calories is well below the lowest value, this is an expl expl extra pollution and cannot be trusted. So um, I would say that C is the answer. And so I'm going to highlight, or I'll just put it in red and bold it. Okay. Bold it, okay. What is the interpretation of the intercept? So 8.94% um, of the variability in carbohydrates can be explained by calories. Food items with zero calories are estimated to have 8.94 grams of carbohydrates. Food items with 0 0.11 calories are estimated to have 8.94 grams of carbohydrates. Food items with 338 calories are estimated to have 8.94 grams of carbohydrates. Food items with zero, zero grams of carbohydrates are estimated to have 8.94 calories. Okay, so zero calories is 8.94 grams of carbohydrates. So that would be that. Okay, then what can we say about the food item that contains 300 calories and 50 grams of carbohydrates? The hot carbohydrate content of this food item is overestimated by the model by 42 grams. So let's do this model. So 300 calories so it's very close. So, so um, the carbohydrate content of this food item is overestimated by the model by about 42 grams. The 
um, carbohydrate content of the food item is predicted perfectly by the linear model. The carbohydrate content of this food item is estimated by the model by about underestimated, so it's overestimated by 8 grams because the answer is approximately 42. So that would be the answer for that one. Identify which of the following statement is true. There's a positive association between calories and carbohydrate content. I would, and then, so that one's true. Um, a food item with 880 calories expected to have 17.74 grams of carbohydrate. Well, let's see if that's true. Oops, 80, and then hit enter. That is true. And the y-intercept in this regression equation is uninterpretable, all of the above. Okay. Then, um, what is the correlation between calories and carbohydrates? So if I'm going to insert, oop, not insert, I'm gonna go click on tools, click on data analysis, correlation, click OK, and I need to highlight the numbers and then click OK. And it's 0 0.9467. So I'm going to estimate it that it's about that. And then I'm going to bold this. Identify the correct statement. Both distributions are left skewed. Both distributions are right skewed. The distribution of calories is right skewed. So how we, let's take a look first. I'm gonna insert a, um, a, hit, a box and whiskers plot. And then taking a look at this and then if I'm looking at this, it says um, both distributions are perfectly symmetrical. So I would say they're pretty symmetrical. Um, so the answer would be E. And there we go. So I hope that this video has helped. Um, this is the middle school math teacher signing out.